Edith can shoot things and hit them is about a brother and sister who are 12 and 16. They happen to be Filipino and they live in middle America in the early 1990s on a remote non-working farm. Um, there's no real parental supervision and they've kind of created this home space for themselves. Um, but it's lonely. It's a love letter for Kenny and Edith uh, on a sibling level, and it's also about a first love between Kenny and Benji. It's about a kid who has just come out of the closet and really finds love at first sight. I think it's a beautiful new coming-of-age story about survival. I think it's a story about survival that maybe we've never really heard before. It's uh, about what defining uh, what family really is. It's really um, just love and loving who you are, loving others without any judgment. Edith is 12. Her brother is 16. They're both Filipino and they live out in middle America and it's the early 90s and they are effectively abandoned by their father. They live on an unworking, a non-working farm in the middle of nowhere, uh, just far enough from town that they're able to keep up this facade with the other adults in their lives, that they live supervised lives, but they really don't. I really fell in love with Edith herself as a character as a girl that could very easily be portrayed as a Tasmanian devil <laughs> child who's psycho and all over the place because she can shoot things and hit them. and But it's not about that. Ray's writing doesn't allow for that. It's definitely, um, she's a very real character, and she's very smart. Even though she has a genius IQ, she's still terrified. I mean, it's a perfect fit for homogeneous theatrics, and the idea of why I created homogeneous theatrics was... You know, we have a lot of coming out stories, you know, you have a lot of AIDS stories, you know, I feel like this classic LGBTQ literature, but we also, we are in 2014, and this is a very, mo it's very modern story. It's just fantastic. I feel like Kenny and Benji are very much in love. This is beyond, um, this is beyond teens exploring their sexuality. This is not, I mean, they really, really have a born trust in each other because they are the only two guys in their high school who are probably gay, that has any idea that they're gay, and they found each other, miraculously. And so I believe their love is one that's born out of that mutual understanding and respect. And I, they don't have any example in their lives, in their lives with adults or other people their age who are coming out and discovering that they're gay. Um, so they really have to feel this out by themselves. I'm astounded by Ray's mature approach to this relationship because he could have very easily made it just two kids messing around in a barn. But it's more than that. Like, they love each other. A. Ray is Filipino, and he grew up in middle America, and this is, the story is very close to his heart, you know, the situations that he grew up in. Yeah, we've heard him say that before in interviews, that these characters were based on his, his family. And even though their situation was different, um, it's, you know, like he has said that uh, the characters were definitely inspired by people that he knows, his siblings and friends they grew up with. He's a new voice, you know, he's a, he's a definitely new voice putting, you know, Filipinos as the main focus of a show. It's fantastic. It's, it is. It's just, it's pretty revolutionary. It gives a good... The opportunity for diversity, which is another thing I think homogeneous is very much about. Um, not only just the gay and lesbian and trans experience, you know, because um, really what it comes down to is everything is a human experience.
Come See Edith Can Shoot Things and Hit Them by A. Ray Pamatmat, produced by Homogeneous Theatrics. On Thursday and Friday, February 27th and 28th, 2014, the reading is in the offices of Citrin Cooperman, which is 529 Fifth Avenue on the fourth floor.